So hi and welcome back to this video. So today what we're going to be doing in this video is uh, we're going to be doing what I said in the last one where we're going to be uh, uh, finishing off the videos or the uh, my videos page because as you can see the my videos page it looks a bit bare and then the last video all we did was uh, we designed it. So what we're doing today is we're going to uh, add things like buttons to the um, my videos page so that you can do things to your videos like edit them and delete them and things like that. And then we're going to be also adding the uh, image. So we're going to do the image first. So let's get started. So let's go in here into our my videos page and uh, we actually need to um, whoops, uh, I'm in the wrong place. So let's just go back in here. And then uh, here's our um, code again. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, we're looking for the uh, where is it? The page that lets us upload uh, images. Uh, so it's probably down here. Uh, yeah, upload image.php. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, open that, and we're going to upload uh, edit video.php. Uh, okay, actually, no, we'll make a separate page for it. So I'm going to create a new page or a new file or whatever, and then I'm just going to save it as um, uh, upload thumbnail. Okay, so now we have our upload thumbnail page.php, and literally all I'm going to do is copy and paste upload image and paste it in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change channel pick. Uh, to uh, thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, press Control F, and since I'm in Sublime Text, I can. Um, oh, whoops, actually not that. I need to. I need to replace it. So I need to go uh, up to Find and then Replace. So Control H, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Channel Pick, and I'm going to replace that with uh, Thumbnail. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click Replace All. And now it's uh, replaced all instances of channel name with thumbnail for me. Uh, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, we need to change uh, this part that says data slash user slash images slash icons. Uh, so what this is doing is it's uh, checking if that file exists and we need to change this directory because this is, uh, all our thumbnails are going to be uploaded into a different directory. So let's go into our uh, websites files again. And we're going to go to uh, data. Uh, users and then we're going to go into videos so instead of images now we're going to go into videos and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one a new folder called thumbnails so then what I'm going to do in this um, in the videos folder is I'm going to create um, a folder called thumbnails so this is where all our thumbnails are going to be stored and um okay yeah we can leave all the rest of it and what we need to also do is just copy this because I think this is uh, in the same place twice so uh, let's find out where it is here it is and let's just paste this in here uh, okay and then what we want to do is we can leave all these variables the same because we're never actually going to change them you can change them if you want but it's not really required so I'm just going to leave it uh, and then what I'm going to say is update the table videos set uh, thumbnail equal to uh, what's profile pick. Uh, okay, we'll leave it. A, we'll change that one actually. So we'll set that one equal to thumbnail. Okay, and then what we want to say is where a uh, video. Let's actually go into our database and make sure we get this right. So we're in our database and we're going to go to uh, where, uh, let's go just to, uh, where, where is it, video ID there. That's what we want, so we're going to go, we're just going to say where video underscore ID equals, um, uh, let's see, uh, let's just say video ID. And we're going to get the video ID variable from the uh, edit video page. So let's go back to our uh, root directory. And we're going to go to add video.php and we're going to drag that into sublime text and we're going to get video ID from the, um, the URL uh, 
uh, we can actually get rid of upload image to PHP now and we'll just paste in video ID here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to Oops. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, where is it? Um, that actually should work. So, um, we need to uh, go into our videos table. We need to add a new row. So we're going to add this row at the end of the table and what it's going to be called is thumbnail. Set it equal to just a text to make things easier. And we're going to click save. So there our videos, our, our videos table has been altered. So then what we also need to do now is we need to go into edit or uh, yeah, we need to update the uh, my video or the upload videos page and the edit video page. Um, so it's upload.php, we need to change that one. Uh, so let's go in here and say um, at the very end, we're just going to add a new one and then leave it blank for now. Okay, actually we'll say um, images slash thumbnail dot png. And uh, we'll leave that like that for now because that's the default. Uh, and we'll just copy it and go to edit video dot php and um, we don't actually need to change this. So we'll leave that like that. Um, and that should be it. So let's go to uh, the uh, the new page we just created. So uh, upload thumbnail, upload thumbnail .php, uh video id equals, and then we just need to get that from the database. So there's our video id, uh, and I'm just going to paste it in here. So here's our uh, upload image, um, our upload image file uploader. So I'm just going to go to choose file and actually I'm going to find one and then I'll come back uh, when I've uh, found it. I don't know, I'll just to go to uh, upload one from the tutorial. So let's go to images and let's upload that one and click upload image. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, up here and we're going to go to data, uh, users, videos, thumbnails, and uh, nothing's here. Uh, okay, that's not entirely uh, bad, we just need to check, did it uh, upload to the videos table? And no it didn't. So uh, let's see why that didn't work. Uh, okay, um, okay, okay, so, uh, the problem was the, uh, form was uploading to the wrong place, because as you can see, this says upload image now, uh, and we were trying to upload it to, uh, upload thumbnail. So you go back to upload thumbnail.php, and, oh, yeah, we have to also... Uh, include the uh, video ID uh, and then what we want to do is we want to come down here uh, just in here and we change this to uh, or, whoops, uh, upload thumbnail dot php video ID equals uh, and then php echo whoops, video ID Okay, uh, so let's try that now. Uh, so let's just refresh. Click choose file, upload an image. Upload, uh, click upload image. It says image uploaded successfully. Run the same URL and if we go into thumbnails, now we have our image. So uh, I can, as you can see, we can uh, see that there. Uh, but I can uh, actually just go straight into it. So I could go to, uh, slash data and then uh, I can just go through all of them so click users and then videos and then thumbnails and here's our image and here's our uh, image uploaded 
the uh, next part we need to check is did it get associated to the video and you can see here uh, that it did so there's our uh, our thumbnail um, upload uh, function is working so let's go back to uh, my videos and now that we've got that working we can um, actually display it so I'm going to copy the title And then I'm just going to say a thumbnail. And now we've got the uh, thumbnail, we can uh, actually use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a div here. Uh, create an image uh, with HTML. And then set the uh, source equal to data slash users slash videos slash thumbnails forward slash, whoops, uh, PHP, whoops, sorry, I keep doing that, echo, uh, thumbnail, and then what we want to say is just, uh, style equals, oh god, I keep, sorry, I keep doing that, uh, float, um, left, Okay, so um, we also need to uh, change the size of it, so let's just set a width, a maximum width of, uh, I don't know, uh, 200 pixels, and then let's uh, refresh. So here's our video I, uh, image, it's probably a bit uh, too big, so let's set it to 150. We'll set the height to uh, we'll set the height to eighty maybe. Um, looks a little bit weird, but that's just because we didn't uh, find a prop uh, perfect image for it. So um, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. In the next video, what we'll be doing is we'll be adding buttons and things along the, um, the either the side here or the bottom or whatever. Uh, that would allow you to add videos and upload th custom thumbnails and things. But uh, we did get a lot done in this video, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.